How's it going guys? Welcome back to the Patriot DIY channel. Do you have a shower head that just won't stop dripping? If you do, stick around because I'm going to show you how to fix it. Alright guys, we got something a little different for y'all today. As you can tell, I am in my shower and I have a pretty simple DIY fix for you guys today. This shower head has been leaking and it is driving my wife crazy and I'm finally just now getting around to fixing it. Now you guys know I like to build things, I like to fix things myself, but in general there are two things that I'm usually a little hesitant to take on and that's electrical and plumbing. If you're like that too and you consider yourself a DIY type person, but there's one or two things you just don't feel comfortable doing yourself, let us know in the comments section below. I'd like to see what you guys have to say about that. With that said, this is gonna be a really simple and easy fix that any of you guys can do if you know what the problem is. Now I'll walk you through this step by step. I'll show you exactly what I'm gonna do to hopefully fix this. But first guys, if you haven't done it yet, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below hit that notification bell and give us a thumbs up. Now, I don't know if y'all can tell the entire time I've been talking, but this is drip, drip, dripping the entire time. It's constant, it never stops. Now, of course, any shower head is gonna drip a little bit right after you use it, right after you take a shower, but this one is constant. It's always dripping just a little bit. And that tells me something that is gonna help me diagnose and fix this problem. The fact that it is constant like that tells me that there's water being pumped up to this constantly, just a little bit, but enough to make it drip. So that also tells me that it's not the shower head that is necessarily my issue. What my issue is, is more likely the handle. The valve that turns the water on and off is likely my issue. It's probably not closing all the way. Maybe there's a seal or a gasket in there that's gone bad that's allowing just a little bit of water through. So that's where we're going to start. We're going to go ahead and take this handle off. We're going to be able to get to that cartridge on the inside, see what the problem is, and then what I'm going to end up doing is just replacing the entire cartridge on the inside, and I'll show you exactly how to do that. First thing you want to do is shut off the main water to the house before you start messing with any plumbing. Now if you look on your handle, you should have somewhere on there a small screw hole that's meant for taking off this outer handle. There'll be a screw down in there and in my case it's a 332nds Allen screw. So we're just going to grab our Allen wrench and go ahead and start to, start to loosen that screw. One other thing I do want to mention is it may be a good idea to cover the drain in your shower with a washcloth or something just so you don't have to worry about dropping any screws down in there. All right, and that's going to expose our valve and our cartridge. Now, hopefully you guys can see this. There are two Phillips head screws here holding on this outer plate. We're going to go ahead and take those off. Now my plate did have a little bit of silicone on that top edge, so I had to cut that, but then this plate should come right off. Next we have this decorative metal collar that we want to take off. Now we don't want to put too much stress on any of these pipes and stuff back here, so anything we do we're going to want to be very gentle about how we do it. So I'm going to get in here behind it and just very gently start to pull that off. Next we have this other threaded metal collar here and the best way to get that off is going to be with a rubber strap wrench. If you don't have one of these I will link to it in the description below. So we're just going to wrap our strap wrench around here, tighten it down, and then as gently as possible without putting too much stress on the valve behind it we're just going to rotate and that broke it loose. Now I can take it off by hand. And there's that. Now this whole piece you're looking at here that goes inside your main valve is called the cartridge. Now this is the part that I think has gone bad 
or at least one of the rubber seals on the inside of this has gone bad. So this is what we're gonna take out and uh, take a look at. Again, you're gonna wanna be really gentle with all these components so you don't damage anything. But it does have a notch in the top that'll accept a flathead screwdriver. I'm gonna put that in there and just very gently start to work that out. There's gonna be some resistance there. But then we're just gonna very gently start to pull this out. Now don't be worried. If you get a little bit of water coming out, there is still gonna be some in the pipes there. There we go. Now, I don't know if you guys noticed when I first pulled the old cartridge out, but something flew out of there and I just picked it up and this is what it was. This, I had no idea what it was at first. I looked it up on the Delta website. Apparently this is a little sediment filter that is inside the valve when you're first installing and testing it. But after that, before you install your cartridge and your shower knobs, this is supposed to be removed and discarded. Apparently whoever installed mine did not do that. And this is very likely what was causing my problem. Um, if this was in there interfering with those seals, this could have been the problem allowing water to get past my little O-rings. So learn something new every day. If you guys have a Delta faucet and you find this little guy in there, get rid of it. So let's just take a quick look at the old cartridge here. Part on the front is what interfaces with your handle. And if you look back here, we have a few O-rings. We have a large one and then two smaller ones there. Now it's likely that those O-rings over time could go bad and that really could be what's causing your problem. So if you're looking to save a little money and do this the cheapest way possible, you could just replace these O-rings and see if that fixes your problem. But personally, I don't feel like doing all that trial and error, so I'm just gonna go ahead and replace the whole cartridge. All you need to do is look up the make and model of your fixtures, and you should be able to find that at Lowe's or Home Depot. And I'll also try to link to some of the more common ones in the description if you wanna get those. But a couple things I wanna point out. So on this, you will have markings that show you which side is the hot side and the cold side. You see you have an H here, also have a little marking that says hot side. So when you put your cartridge in, you wanna make sure that you're putting it in the correct orientation. Usually your hot is on the left, cold is on the right. You also see that it has these little triangular shaped tabs. Now this is a Delta cartridge. So depending on your brand, it may be a little different, but this triangle tab here interfaces with a triangle shaped notch to make sure you get this properly aligned inside of your main valve. Now we're gonna go ahead and install our new cartridge. Again, making sure that we have the hot on the correct side. We're also gonna be looking to make sure we align that triangle notch with the triangle notch in our valve. All right, once that's on there, I'm gonna go ahead and put this collar back on, tighten it by hand first, and then we'll go back with our strap wrench and then I'll slide the decorative collar back on. And really guys, we're just reassembling in the opposite order. And since this did have silicone around it when I took it off, I will go back and add some silicone just to make sure no water gets in behind there. And then we're just gonna reinstall our handle, making sure we have it in the proper orientation. And everything seems to be working properly, cold, hot. Now we should be able to go ahead and turn our water back on and give it a test. All right guys, so we got our water turned back on and the shower head is not leaking, so that's a good sign. But we are gonna go ahead and turn the water on, just make sure everything's working right. Then I'll turn it off, dry everything up, and we'll see if it continues to leak. I'm gonna give that a second to get hot just to make sure my hot water is working properly. All 
All right, guys, now it did get hot. Water turned off like it's supposed to. Of course, it's gonna be dripping right now. Um, it's because there was just water shooting out of it. So uh, we're gonna give that a minute just to do its thing. Then I'll come back and dry it off and just double check to see if it's still dripping. All right, guys, it's only been about a minute. All that water drained out and we have no more dripping. So our fix did work. Now this fix may not work for everybody, but hopefully it will work for most of you guys, especially any of you guys that have older showers where maybe over time those O-rings or that cartridge on the inside has just gotten worn out over time. Going ahead and replacing that cartridge should fix your problem. Um, unfortunately for me, it seems like I don't really know. I may not have needed the new cartridge. It might have just been that little plastic piece that was in there that should have been removed originally anyway. But either way, my wife is gonna be happy. We have no more dripping in the shower. So that's another project out of the way and another win for the DIY life and any of you guys that like to do things yourself. Hopefully this will be a quick, simple, and easy fix for you guys. Now don't forget guys, I am not a plumber. Usually I don't do plumbing stuff, but this seemed pretty straightforward and ultimately it was. So if you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to use our links in the description. That really helps us out. And as always, thanks for watching guys. Please like, share, and subscribe. We'll see you next time.